Now our next topic is how do you provision unattended robot in UiPath Orchestrator? What are the latest steps? Now I'm going to ask you a few questions. In this video, you will get solution to all these questions that I have listed. For example, what are the proper steps to set up unattended robot? Are you aware? Which role should you select for unattended robot? What kind of a role you should select? How will you generate machine key? How will you verify if the robot connection is successful? Where is the place in orchestra you have to go and see if it is successful? Right? Which step the license allocation is done during robot setup? At, at what step exactly you are selecting a license? How are you allocating a license from the pool? In which step? Domain username and passwords are entered for an unattended robot for it to run any kind of a, you know automation. It requires username and password, which you have to set is a critical process okay, step. In which step do you do this? How to run a job from orchestrator on the unattended robot? So all these questions and many more you will get answer in this video. Now the very first thing you do, log into cloud.uipath.com. Go to tenants. And here there's an option called licenses. Before you set up unattended robot, it is a good practice to check if you have enough number of licenses in your orchestrator or not. If you see here, it says zero runtimes execution slots of one that means i have one but i have not utilized this license for automation developer it is saying two of them have been used 100 percent used so it is saying one i have available the very first check you have to do next you need to click on this breadcrumb symbol and then go to this admin option in the admin option you might see multiple tenants do not click on the tenant Click at the organization or enterprise icon that you see, right? Here you should highlight. And then you should click on accounts and groups. The very first step, you have to go to robot accounts. I would like to set up an unattended robot. So first thing, the very first step is go to robot accounts and click on add robot account. And here let us give some proper name. So I'm saying unattended robot one or zero zero one and then all you have to do leave this setup as it is and hit on add and then close this this is the very first step that you have done the moment you do this what happened this unattended robot through the admin panel has been created an account is created next thing let us go back to orchestrator In the orchestrator, click on tenant layer and then you have something called manage access. Click on manage access. Next, in the manage access, assign roles should be highlighted and then click on this drop down assign roles. Here, you have got multiple different options. You have created an account called robot account and next thing you supposed to assign roles. So click on robot account now the robot name that you have given if you simply type it here it will automatically appear so i have given unattended robot 001 so that will appear select your robot account once you select what is the right role you supposed to provide it is again subjective but for an unattended robot you should provide there is something called robot role this is the proper role you should provide. So I am going to select the robot role. And then click outside. Hit on next. In this one, there are a couple of options that you would see. One, enable account to run unattended automations. Allows robot account to run background unattended automations run foreground automations using pre-configured VM user account. VM means virtual machine. 
applies for runs on UiPath Automation Cloud Robots or Elastic Robot. So right now in this one, because we are going for an unattended setup, you should go and select the specific Windows credential. If you have, you are having a specific machine or a VM where you would like to do the setup. So select specific Windows credentials. And here you have to enter the domain username. The machine which you would like to connect, there you go and open the command prompt. Right? How would you find this domain username? Simply type who am I and whatever the results come, just copy that. You can see who am I when I type, this is the result which came. I simply copy this and then go back and enter that particular value here. Next thing it is asking, enter the password. So whatever the password is for that machine, you enter it. So I've entered the password and it is a Windows credential. Select as it is and hit on next. In this window, nothing to do much. All you have to do simply hit on assign. Now what you have done, you have provided for that user account, you have provided the machine where it's supposed to run. You have provided the password. You have selected a role called robot. So once this is done, the next step is you have to create a machine. Click on machines. In the machines, you have something called add machine. Click on add machine and select the machine template here. For unattended robot, you should be going for machine template. And you can provide any name of your choice. So here I would to match with the robot name. I'm simply saying machine and then I'm saying unattended robot 001. And then all I have to do, I have to select the license over here. So this is the place where you would be selecting your license and then hit on provision. Pretty simple steps. So now what happened? Your machine has been created. The, the very next step is you open UiPath Assistant on that machine where you would like to do a unattended setup. Simply open this. So it is now not signed in. Everything is grayed out. All you do, click on this preferences option and then click on orchestrator settings. In this one, the next thing you have to do is click on machine key. It is asking you to enter the orchestrator URL. So go back to orchestrator and until here I'm going to copy. So I have the organization name automate with Rakesh hyphen orchestrator forward slash until then I'm going to copy because I am in the machine. Next thing is saying machine add all that. So until here you should be copying it. Go back and simply paste it here. The next thing it is saying enter the machine key. So here is the machine key. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to enter the machine key over here and hit on connect. Now, within no time, you would see it will establish the connection with the orchestrator. It says connected license, ADR protection not detected. You don't worry about this one. If you see a green signal, that means your UiPath assistant is now connected. So this is from the UiPath assistant side you have seen. Now, let me minimize it. How would you verify the connection has been made on the orchestrator? For this, go back to tenant. And then there is something called monitoring. Click on monitoring. And here you have something called unattended sessions. Click here. If you click here, it shows you this one is connected. The, the machine which I have created, machine unattended robot 001. Right? Runtime is production runtime I have given. That means the license and the status it is saying connected. Right, 47 seconds ago. So this is where you should come and verify whether it is connected or not. So once this is done, right, your setup is complete. The next thing what we would do, we would try to run a job. For this, I'm going to hit on tenant. I would go to folders. Let us create a folder. Click on this plus sign and type something. So let me give a name called test. Leave the options as it is. Hit on create. Now what happened right now is a folder got created. So once the folder is created on this folder, the newly created robot account, is it connected or not? For that, go to the highlight the folder that you have created 
and then on the right hand side you would see something called settings click on settings so so many important steps you are trying to learn in this single video click on settings and here the manage access is highlighted all i have to do simply hit on assign account do you see the robot account is not yet added there should be a robot symbol i am going to hit on assign account group external app here all you do simply type the name of that unattended robot 001 so this is how you are giving access to the folder for this robot so this robot now would have access to the folder here the role for the account so for this because it is a robot i am going to select robot account and then hit on assign so what happened now you can see the robot icon has appeared and this particular robot is now have access to this folder next things so once it has access to the folder it can run automations that are deployed or that are present in this folder let's go to machines in the machine you can see my machine stuff is blank if it is blank all you do hit on manage machine in folder and then it will show you the list of machines that you might have added in the past select the right machine for the robot so this is the machine for robot 001 i am going to hit on update pretty simple now everything is done so all your steps are complete the next thing we would like to do is run a job for that let's click on the automation tab while the folder is highlighted here let me create a process add process and you can select any of your previous project that you might have uploaded let me select one of it and here i have an argument you may not have that's fine here i'm going to simply provide some argument let's say rakesh which the automation is going to use and i'm going to hit on next package requirement nothing so here i would leave everything as it is and hit on create so what happened right now is a process got created under this folder let us create a job let's go to the jobs tab hit on start and then it will ask you okay which process would you like to select so in this folder we have only created single process let me select that process and here it will tell you the runtime is unattended account so here if you have multiple machine it will allow you to select them specific one i have selected all i have to hit on start the moment i do this you would see the automation has actually started and, and you know shown my name good morning rakesh getting it and if you like to see the logs you can go to the logs and you can see it shows the logs the automation that run under this folder and if you go back to uipath assistant there also you would see half a minute ago this process has run so this way we are done with all the different questions that i had we had in the beginning has now been cleared so thank you for watching let's move on to next topic